So what can we do about it? It's a question we always need to ask ourselves. How is it our responsibility to do anything about it? It was brought to my attention today, yesterday actually, by the girl that writes, what? This is about the Southern Poverty Law Center. The basic problem with this organization is that they're using the sentiments of hardworking Americans to support their legal practice, ostensibly for a good cause, the fight for the rights of the poor. But being arguably filthy rich on an endowment of over $262 million they currently have, and that's not talking about the operational income that they have. They are, um, let me just let Ken Silverstein explain. And this is an article he wrote back in 2010. Hate Immigration in the Southern Poverty Law Center. I spoke at a panel last week sponsored by the Center for Immigration Studies, CIS a conservative group about its new report on the Southern Poverty Law Center. The report examines the efforts by the Law Center to smear the Federation for American Immigration Reform and, by extension, the Center for Immigration Studies. For the record, I am totally opposed to CIS's stance on immigration. As I stated at the press conference, I accept this invitation to speak on the panel because it came from my friend Jerry Kamer, of whom I am a big admirer. I also agree to the investigation because of much of, like CIS, I feel the center is essentially a fraud and that it has a habit of casually labeling organizations as hate groups, which it does, doesn't mean that some of these groups it criticizes aren't re, excuse me, reprehensible. In doing so, the SPLC shuts down debate, stifles free speech, and most of all, it raises a pile of money, very little of which is used on behalf of poor people. This is a concern of mine, an organization that says they're working for the poor and they're working for themselves. They're labeling people as hate groups. And they're not doing much about it. The reality is we are living in the most peaceful time of our history. People hear more about violence because we have more access to the information than we've ever had before in the past. Just go to YouTube. You can see all these kind of crazy things that happen. We see them because more video cameras are in existence. More people are talking about it. We have more information. That doesn't mean that we've had a sudden increase of violent crimes in this country, or in any other country for that matter. It's always been going on, only now we can see it. So fundamentally, we should be talking about the good things that are going on in society. And so I'm opposed to people fear-mongering because it's not happening that way. We are a more civilized society than we've ever been before in the past. And organizations that utilize the instinct of being human, the fear factor in us to sell, to steal money, from unsuspecting, good-willed people. I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't think any of us should. I'm not sure what to do about it. I'm trying to get more people aware of the issue and more people aware that we can do something. We can make sure that the Southern Poverty Law Center has a hard time raising money in the future and that when they speak, they are going to be on the defense because they have a lot of explaining to do. It's too much money, and they're not spending it for the right things. And they're shutting down conversations, even though it, I may not agree with CIS as well. 
they don't deserve to be smeared. If someone disagrees with me, they have a right to speak. I want to hear what they have to say, and I want to disagree with them because of logic and reason, not because I want to label them a hate group. That's not an effective or a fair way of dealing with people, simply labeling them. And trust me, there's plenty of people on YouTube that understand the problem of labeling. Islamophobe, let's deal with that issue. Now, I'm all for having thick skin. I'm all for not getting defensive. And I'm willing to debate anybody, even the Poverty Law Center, if they want to debate anyone on YouTube. And I encourage everyone to call and find out more about them. They are willing to talk to you. Any questions you have, call them directly. Don't get hearsay. You know, they have not yet. I called them today to find out if it was true they had that much money. Yes, they have that much money. Okay. And then I talked to the Intelligence Committee. I didn't really know what to ask Joe, but um, they're helpful. And as far as I know, they're not just helpful to me. They'll be helpful to you. So we can investigate them directly. They're willing to be upfront about it. They're lawyers. They're not going to hide anything. They've already thought about the legal ramifications of what they're doing, and I'm sure you're not going to find them doing anything illegal. I doubt it. What they're doing is reprehensible, not illegal. There's a difference. And But I do encourage people to investigate them and get back to me. Uh, let me know. I will certainly link to your videos um, and anything you find out or anything you know right now that you think is important. I'll put what I have in the link to this video. But let's investigate them. Let's make sure everybody knows that this is not an organization that you want to be doing business with. They, they don't play fair and they're fear mongers and I don't like fear mongers and whatever stripes they wear.